as you can see, I'm out in the glorious British summer in the market kitchen barbecue area, first for everyone. Anyway, here we go. Beautiful, normal kettle grill. The whole point is indirect heat. Your coals built up around here, a nice white thing over them, water here for moisture. You put your ribs on there, away from the heat, indirect, and you put it on. Now, these have been cooking away lovely for about five hours. What I've done is for the first three hours they've been in foil, unwrapped it, put some more rub in, wrapped it up again, left it for an hour or so, then for the last hour, taken the foil, chucked it away and just left it so these ribs can cook beautifully and get brown. So they're ready now, they should be beautiful and sort of uh, tender. So you'd be quite careful picking them up because they might fall apart like that. Anyway, but I'm now going to take them up to Chorita. Oh, that looks fantastic, Tom. Why don't you bring those on up so that we can try them? All right, yours are on the grill. I'm going to go to the oven and have a look at mine. Oh, yeah, don't need a grill for those. But I think my barbecue ribs, they need some sauce, OK? So I'm going to make my homemade sauce. Oh, great. They're You're here. in. You want to help me make this sauce? I want to watch it, definitely. Yeah, I want to have a watch. OK. Very simple, all in one pot, okay. really quickly. So what we're going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Yep. To the oil, I'm going to add some onions, some mixed peppers. I tell you, this is so and easy. And this is your take on a classic This is my take. Yeah, my, it's always my little take. I like to take somebody else's in, give it a little twist. A little bit of pepper. I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning. A touch of some smoked paprika. Lovely. And then to that, let's add two tins of just tomatoes, okay? And do you make with the Cajun, you make all of your own seasonings? I make my seasonings, okay, yes I do. Scratch. All right, and then mine is fruity. So Lovely. we're gonna add, here we go, an orange. Beautiful. And my pineapple. Lovely. Got to have the pineapple. <clears throat> all right, and that's kind of like a Hawaiian barbecue sauce. Okay. And then all we're gonna do here is give that a nice stir. And you want that to kind of cook down. Okay, so it's all... It, and, and then, literally, we're going to blitz it. Yeah. But it needs a little bit of a smoky flavour okay. to it. If you can't get liquid smoke, buy yourself just a regular smoky barbecue sauce. Okay, so you get a nice Give it a good little swish in. All right? And okay. that is really just to add the flavour to it. Give it a stir. Let it cook. And then once it's cooked... That's, yeah. You're just going to just put it through and just sieve it. All right? And it comes out absolutely Beautiful. delicious. So if you get your ribs out of the oven, then we can start serving up. Great. And I'm looking forward to this sauce. All righty. Okay, let me go okay. get my ribs. You get, get yours my... ready. Okay, so I'm going to get my ribs. I also got here some coleslaw. It's not the normal, creamy, yucky, claggy coleslaw that you find over here. It's a South Carolina one. It's got a bit of a spike, a bit of chili in there, um, some carrot, some cabbage, um, a few bits and pieces of seeds and all the rest of it. Okay, let's get this little thing down. How hungry are you, Matthew? Oh. That's all. How ever, oh, look, see, those are pulling apart. See, this is what you're looking for, pulling apart like that, coming off the bone. Just like there. mine is coming off the bone. <laughs> that beautiful. I mean, they, this is... I would actually perhaps do sauce with these, but, you know... Now, mine, I am going to put some sauce over them. It's mm. quite nice to have the sauce with them. And you're serving yours with coleslaw? Just with the coleslaw, because it gives a little bit of vinegar to cut through everything because it can be quite fatty but that's it basically. I'm serving mine with beer. Good call. <laughs>